Hey guys, so I thought I would go ahead and hop on here and record a video um, of how I install my elastics and they're zigzagged in the seam allowance and how I case them while I'm top stitching. So what I've already done is um, tacked down my elastic right at my uh, elastic mark. I do this because while I'm pulling it, for the first couple of stitches, uh, I don't want this to snap back and slingshot me in the face. So I have that in place. Uh, I have my machine um, set to my three-step zigzag. This is the default stitch uh, width and then I have it maxed out for the stitch length. You want a nice wide uh, zigzag whenever you tack it down in the seam allowance. So what I do from here, make sure that the uh, on my presser foot it's like clear in the middle. So I just make sure the elastic is right in the middle. And I like to pull it to the max and then let it go just a little bit. Um, to the max to me is a little bit too tight, but releasing it just a little um, is perfect for me. And I've done several of these, so I pretty much just eyeball the width of the elastic and um, know that that's what I'm going to like. And then just adjust as you need to. with me, sorry. And just do a couple inches at a time if that's all you can do. You don't have to zoom through the whole piece. You don't want, you know, you don't want your elastic hanging way out you know, way out here. Um, you don't want your stitches to fall off the side of the diaper. So just take your time with it. You'll get there. Okay, so can you guys see? Um, there is my little elastic mark. So I'm going to put my machine back to um, just a straight stitch. Turn this around, and then I'm just going to um, tack this down. All right, so I'm going to do the rest of my elastic. Um, and then I don't pre-measure or anything, so um, I'll just cut this. And just cut it, where am I? Like a fourth of an inch away from the side. So it's nice and roughly, where am I? Ruffles nice, has good stretch. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest and then I will be back when I'm ready to top stitch. Okay, so now I'm ready to top stitch. Um, the only elastic in the Flawless and Flex that I case is the front piece. I found that if I sew this piece in the seam allowance and then try to case it. Um, I don't have enough room. I run into these snaps and this wants to like fold under when it's on baby. So 
I don't like that. Um, so yeah, this is the only one that I case. And then I put some clips every now and then just on like trouble areas that seem like they're gonna wanna fold funny. Um, and then I put one where my elastics are going to be uh, that helps it hold in place and uh, you know make sure that the edge of it isn't trying to flip up or doing anything crazy on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch. I I move my needle as far as it'll go left and then I have my stitch length on um, 3.5 but I mean it might be different on your machine. So I start on the right edge of um, that front piece of the elastic and I don't know if you'll be able to see but I line up my presser foot this clear piece on the inside. Let me see. I'm trying to finagle this uh, tripod. Can we see? Okay. So I have the edge of my presser foot um, with the uh, inside of that clear piece. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my needle. And my machine has an option for a locking stitch. Um, if yours doesn't do that, just go ahead and do your, you know, forward and back stitch to lock your stitches. Um, I like to hold these while mine does a locking stitch, otherwise it likes to make a bird's nest underneath. Okay, so I'm coming up on my elastic. So if you're trying to do rolled elastic, uh, then you would just stop here and do your locking stitch or your back stitch to lock your stitches, and then you would just jump to um, your next elastic mark down by the wings. But if you're trying to case them, um, go ahead and lift your foot and pivot your diaper. Make sure all these layers are not all bunched up and crazy. And I know that I need to come forward four stitches in order to miss um, my elastic. And what's nice about um, tacking the elastic down in the seam allowance is instead of like tacking down just the front and back piece, um, if you did that, the, the length of the elastic would still be like free roaming around in the body of your diaper. So having it tacked down already, um, it's not going to move. You don't have to worry about running it over as long as you're far enough away from it. So I'm going to come forward my four stitches. And then turn again. And then I like to make sure the side of my diaper is going to line up with this little dash between 3 8 and 5 8 And then just on the inside, make sure that everything is smooth. Can you still see? Okay. So we're going to pull and just flatten everything out. And how you hold your diaper to do this, you'll just have to work with it um, and see what works best for you, what is most comfortable. Um, so I have the edge of my diaper lined up with this line like I was talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. Go a couple inches and then 
kind of reconfigure how your stuff is. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds to get it all flattened out and nice. mentioned it but you do need to pull the elastic you need to make sure it is stretched to its max so that it is um, you know skinny in there so that you're not going to hit it while you're making this case elastic uh, end piece. I'm going to take that out. Now my machine might make funny noises because I have a lot of layers right here between all my pieces of PUL. So just bear with me if this thing sounds crazy. And then turn and I'm going to come across. And then turn Stitching. And again, if you were doing the rolled elastic, um, I would, I like to case the back when I do rolled elastic, some people don't, but you would have gone from this mark here all the way around, and then you would stop before you hit this elastic. But if you are just doing, um, if you're wanting to case it, then go ahead and keep going. Locking stitch. And I'll trim the strings. My hand is all up in the way, you guys. I'm sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. I'll go make those better in a minute. You can see the final product. Okay. 
then we're just ready for snaps and you'll be all done. I hope this helped anybody that had questions about it.